Okay, good morning guys, it's uh, Alex again, Spartan Gym Clinic, uh, sports therapist here in Salisbury for another self-help Sunday and what we're going to talk about today is runner's knee, okay? Runner's knee is a term which is associated to a few different knee conditions, so in this sense for runner's knee what we're talking about is iliotibial band friction syndrome. Um, and we're going to talk about what it is, what it's doing and what you can do to get out of it. Okay, and typically you feel it as pain in the outside of the knee, either during or after a run. So, what is it? Okay, so it is what it says, um, iliotibial band friction syndrome. So your iliotibial band, your IT band, is frictioning against uh, the underlying vastus muscle of your, in your quads. So, I made this to try and demonstrate. So this is Shakira, my hip, okay? And what we've got, so we've got the front of the hip, we've got the side and then the back. And what I've tried to do with these bands is try and show you what's going on. So the green band is a muscle called the TFL, the tensor fascia lata. And then the black band is representing your glute max. Now both of these muscles come down and then they can join and they attach to the IT band, shown here in blue, uh, and use the IT band as a tendon, okay? So in real life, what that means is, the front of my hip, if you feel around the front of your hip, you come around and you can feel a bony point at the front. If you come back from that and down, in there, this is your TFL, okay? It's almost like a sort of teardrop-shaped muscle. And that goes down and then your glute max comes across, and then they both come together Take the camera. Turn off the camera down. Yeah, and they, they attach, glute max attaches in other areas, but it also attaches onto this IT band, which then comes down the outside of your of your thigh, all the way down over the top of the knee onto the tibial plateau and attaches on the tibial plateau in a place called Gurdy's tubercle. Okay, and then where the band frictions against the knee, that's where you get the pain typically in this region around here. If you poke down your IT band, you'll feel it's quite tight and uncomfortable and unpleasant. But, you know, they are. So if you feel down here, think, oh, that's really quite sore. Feel the other side. If that's quite sore, well, then that's just how it is. If this is worse, then it's a, then it's a problem. Okay, so it's, there's tender points on your body. Doesn't necessarily mean there's a dysfunction. But so you're getting this pain. So. What, what's going on? That's the question. What, why is this IT band now got tight and rubbing? The IT band can't do anything. Yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a thick strap. Um, it doesn't stretch or bend, or well, it does bend, but it doesn't stretch. You can't change all to its length, okay? So stop, first thing you need to do, stop rolling the outside of your thigh, yeah? People roll the outside of their thigh, it really hurts, they think it's doing good. It's, doing the opposite, it's a friction syndrome, yeah? And you're adding friction. So why would that help? It doesn't, you're feeding, you're feeding the dysfunction. What's happening is, um, I wonder if I can do this, it's very secure. What's happening is, let's think, TFL, yeah? Group max in black, IT band down the side of the leg, yeah? The TFL is getting tight. That's typically what's going on. So as the TFL gets tight, it's now pulling the IT band tight to the thigh and also putting some stretch into the glute max at the back, yeah? TFL is a hip flexor, glute max is a hip extender. So the TFL's tightening is starting to pull on your glute max. And then it's pulling on the band, yeah? And then the band's getting pulled against that vastus muscle. TFL is also the fascia lata, the fascia lata comes around the top it's like a, a fascial sleeve around the, the, the thigh compartment and it, and it tenses it, that's why it's what called that, so it tenses the fascia lata, so now this compartment is very tight um, and then the band is pulled tight and then that's why it's rubbing. So the issue is with the TFL, yeah, leave the band alone, you can't do anything. And if you've got a scalpel, you're not going to have any effect on that band. Treat the muscle that uses it for the tendon and then that's how you'll get out of this pain relatively quickly it's not um you know i do a lot of, i do a lot of this here um 
and you can get over it relatively quickly. How? Right, so that's what it is, that's what it's doing, yeah? Hope that makes sense. So why, why is it going on? Normally, deactivate glute medius, so the TFL, the glute medius and the QL work together to do leg abduction, so lifting the leg up to the side. Uh, typically, the glute medius is deactivated, the TFLs become overactive, and then that's causing the tightening. Um, not saying that's exactly what's going on with you, because I can't see you, but that's typical. So you need to check, first off, check your glute is fine, okay? And there's a video on how to do that. I'm not gonna show that in this one because you need two people. But I will add it to the description. Add it to the description of this video and first things first, check that that glute is firing and engaged, okay? Then what we wanna do is start to release the, the TFL, okay? So we're gonna use a roller, but we're not gonna use a roller on the, on the outside of the thigh, like I just said, we can use it in a different way. There's a full video on how to roll it, um, and I'll add that to the description as well, but we'll go through it, because I know I'm going on a bit now, and we need to get on. You want to start treating it. So, you can roll it the way you would roll it. Come here, Shakira. So there's the front of the hip, yeah. There's that bony prominence you can feel. The muscle sits behind, so you want to try and get that onto the roller. So the way to do it is come on on the side and then roll through, just like this. So I can put it at a bit of an angle. Got my affected leg that I'm treating with the knee bent. I'm just lying on the side of my hip. I can feel that bony point and I'll just roll forward. So now I'm on it. And once I'm on it, and when you do have this problem, you, this week a little bit tender, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my body weight down onto the roller and I'm going to take my bottom leg and I'm going to bring it out behind me and then up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to come off and I'm going to repeat like that. And I'm going to do this 12 to 20 times. You know, I'm going to do it until I feel I've had an effect, until I feel like it's the muscles released or the pain's diminished. Yeah. Like I said, there's a full video on that in the description. What there isn't a full video of is another release technique. So what I'm going to do, and start with the affected leg bent, and then I'm going to try and get my thumb, get some pressure on my finger. I'll use my fingers, fingers and palm of hand, yeah, into that point. So I find that bony point, and I come round onto this, and you'll feel the tenderness. So start with a knee bent, and I'll apply some pressure. And then I'm going to straighten my leg through. And then I'm going to lift, apply some pressure and straighten my leg through. And then I'm going to work all around this area, anything that's tender, anything that's tender I'm going to work three or five times until I feel it's reduced. Then I'll move just slightly left, right, up and down. And I'm just going to work through this muscle, okay, and try and release it this way. If there's a point that's very, very sore, I'll put some pressure on and I'll bring my knee up and then I'll just relax. Um, relax my leg, but keep the pressure on. I'll keep the pressure on for about 30 seconds and then I'll slowly start to straighten. And you'll find you can go so far and then the pain comes back. So then you ease off so there's no pain and then keep the pressure on. Another 30 seconds, ease it off. If it gets painful again, come back, you know, and just tease it out that way, okay? So that's two ways to release it. You can, you can, almost down the outside leg, just, it's almost like you're wringing out a towel, yeah? So I'm getting my palms over the outside of my thigh and I'm scooping up with my hands and I'm putting a twist like I'm wringing out a towel. And this is really, all this is to do is everything is, you know, tight and stuck and it just lifts everything up and it gets some blood and some circulation going through. You know, pressing onto the band itself, so that would just be painful and pointless. But this, this can feel quite nice and it helps, yeah? Start separating some of the layers. So you can do that for a bit, that's quite nice. That helps. Um, yeah, so the, the, those three sort of release type style techniques. Then, what would I, do if we want to, we want to then, so we've checked our glutes active, we've gone on my video, how to activate your glutes, we've 
we've got our partner or whoever to help and, and we're like, yep, yeah, that's engaged now. But what we want to do is get glute mead, because TFL's overactive, we want to get glute mead back in charge in the farming pattern, okay? And the way we do this, we're going to do like a, a leg lift, but what we want to do is find the TFL, so go into that bony prominence, come back from it and in, and then lift the leg. And if you can feel the muscle contract, it like pops under your fingers, bring your leg slightly higher and try again. If you can feel it contract there, so I'll bring it slightly higher. And now it's, now it's not doing anything. So that's, that's where I would begin. And from there, clinch my glute, lift my knee to hip height, hold for two seconds, and then lower. Unclench, reclench, and repeat. And I'm going to do three sets of 12 of these. And this is really concentrating on unclenching, then reclenching. And it's really just to get glute me firing, firing first. Yeah, and TFL not. It's trying to break that overactive pattern in it. Three sets of 12 of A, and then because it's been pulling, yeah, on glute max, can cause some inhibition in that muscle. So what we do is single leg bridges. So this is my affected leg, so I'll have my good leg up, squeeze my glutes, and then push up and through. And down, and clench, and repeat. I'll be looking to do three sets of 12 of these as well. Okay. So that's how you stretch it off, uh, release it, and then re-strengthen, re-strengthen the glutes around it. Once you've done those, you know, uh, go and do, you'll be doing those for about a week, the knee will be feeling better, go into some more kind of intense glute exercises just to really stop it reoccurring. Um, any knee problem, always work your glutes. Yeah, and you'd be surprised how many knee problems are fixed by working your glutes. The last thing I do is tape it. I'm not going to do that today. Um, but again, I'll put a link in a video, a link to a video in the description on how to tape it off. Yeah, um, taping doesn't fix the problem, but it eases the symptom. And the knee, the knee pain is a symptom. It's not the problem. Yeah, it's run his knee, but the, the whole thing is just a symptom of, excuse me, of a dysfunction up in here. Yeah. But what the tape will do is it will lift the area and it will stop that band frictioning while your hip is recovering, yeah? So I'll put that link in the description as well. Those are links, lots of links. Um, I think that's it. Unscripted as always, so I just start talking and see what comes out. But that, yeah, that's how I treat um, Brandon's knee. Uh, any uh, comments, questions, video requests, just stick them in the in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my video, please, uh, and you'll see new self-help videos every week on a Sunday.